There's where that cotton ball goes right on the tip of his hat. Is that the doing baby? Just the same. So you want to stick him on? This kind of cute. This is Santa's face. We're going to put his hat right here on the top of his head. So put some glue right there, Brighter. Don't go down too far. Okay, some over here maybe. I think the next thing that you sure can. The next thing to go on is you kind of want to put your hands like this. And you put your thumbs together, slide it in there. Do and I have to put glue on Yeah, you put glue on his chin because that's where his beard is, isn't it? Does your dad have a beard? Yeah! Where's it at? On his chin? Well, that's where we're going to put Santa. <laughs> so put, have you got your glue on there? I don't feel any right there. All right. And we're going to set your hands together with the thumbs in the middle. And we'll kind of slide them on there. Hang on, let's let's try to get them. Let's see where you got them. Okay, yeah. The craft part was the fun part of this, wasn't it, Brad? Yeah. I thought so too. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to put his cheeks on there, his rosy cheeks. So put a little circle right about right about there. All right, you put that one. Put a little more glue. Now we're going to put the mustache on. Santa needs a mustache. Yeah, or he'll never be Santa. He won't be Santa without a mustache, will he? Yeah, or he'll look like All a right, normal fresh person. All right, you got it? Yeah. All right, we'll slide Santa's nose right there. Yeah. All right, you got it? Yeah. All right, we'll slide Santa's nose right there. Good job, he's looking pretty good. Now all we've got left are the eyebrows to glue on. So put that on. Okay, ready? Whoop. We've got him all put, Briar's got him all put together here, except for his eyeball. You need to draw his eyeballs in there. Oh, well look, how you did that. Okay, <laughs> and that works too. Briar just put a little dot for Santa's eyeballs, and you can do that, or you can do them like this, or you can do them however you want to. This is one of Briar's favorite songs, I think. She's getting her bells adjusted. We're gonna sing Jingle Bells, so you guys sing along with us there at home. Okay, get your Jingle Bells on. If you've got Jingle Bells at home, you can get those out and go shake, 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 shake your Jingle Bells with us. Ready? Dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way Bells on bobtail ring Making spirits bright, what fun it is to ride and sing a sleigh song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. Shake your bells. Job. I'm sure you did a good job too. Today's story is The Night Before Christmas. The author is Clement Moore and the publishing company is Ideals Publishing. This is a favorite story of mine. It's nearly 200 years old. And that just tells you that the good ones last a long time. All right, then, we're going to start. The Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plum danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave a luster of midday 
to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke, it encircled his head like a leaf. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed. Bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk and laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod the chimney he arose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all good night. And guys, I hope you have a very, very Merry Christmas.